Well, Teo's home on the farm. He's a friend to Maggie. They look like they're doing great right now, but how was it when they first were introduced? Let me take you back to some of those first moments just a few days ago. You might be surprised. All right. Are you okay? That was quite the ride, wasn't it? Just be very careful. Don't give them that much loose. Okay, walking back, walking them, walking around. Did you want to go see a little more? Oh, hi. How about walking them over to the round pin area and we'll walk them in circles on opposite sides of the pin. Now Adeline you head to the left and just walk them on opposite sides the same direction. Pick him up make him walk. Keep them on opposite sides of the pin for now. There you go. For tonight, the first night, we don't want to keep them together because we haven't really acclimated them very well. So we're going to keep Maggie in Maggie's place, the old place, for tonight. And then tomorrow we'll work on getting them uh, used to being around each other. Today is day two of the horses being together. They were introduced sort of last night. And today we're going to put them together and see how they interact. We're going to tiptoe into that. Last night, Maggie stayed here and Teo stayed back. Oh, where is he? Somewhere back over there. And now we're gonna just see what happens. I'm staring at him. You see her, Teo? Oh, hey, Teo.
We were told there was going to be some kicking and some biting no matter how we did this. We introduced them over the fence last night. They've been seeing each other all morning over the fence today. I didn't know there would be this much kicking. It's a little nervous, a little nerve-wracking for me. But it looks like maybe they're settling down and sorting it out. At least I hope that's the case. I'm not sure if the ears back on on the head, Teo's head. I, I'm sure it means something. I'm not. I don't know exactly what it means. The positioning, the the scratching, the head down. Maggie seems fairly relaxed and fairly normal until Teo gets too close. It's okay. Before we bought Maggie, she lived at a, a barn, a facility where there were a lot of horses. And according to my daughter, Maggie reacted similar in a similar way when she was introduced to other horses. So I think she has a little bit of a, a dominance streak in her. You okay, Teo? I might be really silly for being in here with them. I'm backing up because uh, Teo's positioning himself a little bit, walking toward me, and I want to make sure that I don't get caught in the crossfire. Teo definitely looks a little nervous. Maggie seems pretty chill, and uh, yeah, I don't know if that's because she's the mare and he's the gelding, you know, male first versus female, or if it's just this is Maggie's property and uh, Teo's introduced and he's the new guy, or, you know, I'm trying to read into this a little bit, but I really don't know what I'm talking about. According uh, to some of the horse stuff that we know, if they're licking and chewing and their ears are forward, then they're okay. She seems pretty okay. Uh, but they're still trying to figure each other out. And I'm trying to position myself around trees so that I can get away if I need to. Go Maggie, go Maggie, uh oh. Quite honestly, I probably put myself in an awkward and dangerous position by being in there with the horses. We're gonna leave them to sort things out. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna figure it out. Hopefully, there's not a whole lot of biting and kicking still left to do, but I guess that's normal and they have to work that out. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how they're doing. And while they weren't looking, my daughter dropped the blue toy out here, which has grain in it. The horses roll it around and the grain falls out and then they eat the grain. I guess we're hoping that if there's enough distraction, the horses can, I don't know, maybe find a way to, to not focus on each other. But maybe they need to. What that is doing, it's giving Teo something to distract him so Maggie can get some hay. It's day three, Christmas day. We just had our family time, so now I'm gonna go out here and check on the horses. My daughter's already out. The horses from here appear to be doing fine. Hey Maggie, Teo. You 
guys doing okay this morning? Yeah? Are you taking Maggie for a walk out front? Okay. Good boy, Teo. From what I've seen now after the introduction, the day two and the morning on day three, uh, this has been a successful introduction of two horses. We may not have done it all correctly according to other people's methods, but the biting and the kicking we were told was gonna to be normal, and they did do that. So I, I know I put myself in a little bit of a bad position at times while I was in the field with the horses. That's probably not something you should try at home. I didn't really think that through, but you know, I'm okay and we came out okay. If you like this video, please share it. Hey, he's talking to you. He's saying, please share this video with your friends and family because we will all consider that a gift. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Horses on the Daddy Kerbs Farm. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to the people in the camera? Or do you miss Maggie? You miss Maggie. That's it.